So you you came to a team and quickly later on, a year later, basically, you were playing for a final for a FA Cup final um, in 1999. That is one of the most pre prestigious tournaments that you can play in in England in, in European football. And you, how old were you at the time in 1999? Well, when I moved to here, I was arriving here in like a 23. 1998. Okay. I was just been signing in July. Three, four months later, I was 23 because I left Argentina when I was 22. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's like uh, I was, I'm arriving quite difficult period with Kenny Douglas because he gets sacked four months later, you know, three months later when arriving here, he gets sacked. So, uh, Ruth Gulli arrived into the team, new manager uh, with no much experience in football he, because he's only retired two years before. So right. Right. he has to took, he has to deal with the team. Is everything you know? It's difficult when you arrive in the club. Somebody signing you, another guy take it over. But to be honest, I was quite strong. You know, I was quite strong in mentality to say, okay, we need to. I need to adapt. And no, no expecting to this guy adapting to me. No, I say I need to try to recognize the training sessions, how fast the pace in the ball. So they are not really team to build in. No English back in the years. And now you see how crazy they play yeah. with using the goalkeeper, things like that. But back in the year, it was quite direct football, you know. From the keeper, right back, right back, straight away to the striker. Or from the keeper to the striker, we have to play from the second ball. It's typical yeah. like the tactical from rugby tactical, you know. When you kick the ball yeah. and after you go pressure. So in that transition, was uh, in the beginning, for quite difficult because when you know good communication with the manager. You want to tell him things you want to say because you feel frustration. Sometimes playing the matches in the beginning, sometimes not playing, even in the bench, things like that. So what's going on? But uh, but to be honest, I have to, like I said to you, I have to adapt them quicker. I have to know how the training session really tough. We have to. So I was quite lucky to adapt them and they have a great, great group of, of players, you know, great, great people. So give me soon recognize my technique, soon recognize how can do with the with the ball they start to you know winning the the, the friendly chip in the, into the training ground so that helped me very much you know helped me very much and the was i'm um, start to play more regular and like you mentioned i was very lucky i didn't realize how the fk how important was we was playing the right. games, you know uh, and after we go through to the next round near we get into the final i didn't realize how exciting was all the fans i understood because and after because this club hasn't won uh, any trophy for a long time, so everybody was quite desperate. Great opportunity, but a shame, shame because we we waste the the chance when we play. I believe we play best Manchester United uh, era, you know, ninety nine right. Beckham, Scholes, Roy King. Um, they have a fantastic team. They have a fantastic Andy Cole, you know, uh, uh, Roy York. So we catch the best. The best moment of, of Manchester of Manchester um, United United sorry, uh, but you know uh, it was a great experience. And after a few months later, unfortunately, Road Goalie gets sacked, and we started with Bobby Robson. We have a start to great period, great great opportunity, great moment in the club. You know. Yeah. What What do you think was? Because a lot of people like Paul Clark, he tweeted the, this question. He was uh, he, he said. Uh, it would be interesting to hear his thoughts on the FA Cup final and, and how it was. This is a separate question: how it was scoring against Sunderland when Shearer uh, was injured for the penalty. But like, what what are your thoughts on what was that missing piece to be able to beat that big Manchester United? Or do you think that they were just better? And and at the I end, I think of the day, I think now after a long time, I I feeling we need to get. I mean, we didn't get enough in the tactical. We mm -hmm. probably yes, Ruth Gulli. I remember that that match. I played. I used to play in the right wing. I put him in the left side. Uh, put Robert Lee. I played no, normally. Who used to be a holding midfielder. He put in the right winger. So it was a little bit mess. The relationship with with Ruth Gulli back in the into the end of the of the season looked to me looked like uh, mm, it wasn't the best. You know, a lot of fraction with the old players, the experienced players, even with Alan Shearer. He left me in the bench, you know, when we play, when we play and then the, uh, against Sunderland, the big match, the big derby, he left Alan Sheeran in the bench. So, so we wasn't prepared enough, good enough to face that, that final. And unfortunately. You, yeah, I, I think most people can say Gullit was a, as a young manager compared to Alex Ferguson, 
who had had all the experience in the world. Um, yeah, and, and, the, and the other question is, how did you feel about your thoughts on scoring against Sunderland when Alan Shearer was injured? <laughs> yeah, it was an opportunity. Normally, Alan never give you any chance. Alan <laughs> has to want to score any single goal. I was quite, quite lucky. Yeah, well, it was, of course, it was a derby match, big responsibility. Be the, be the, be the derby, be the, they call the Macams, you know? Yeah, the <laughs> Macams. These people. So, yeah, it was, was, was very special, especially when you win away. We, 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 we have a great, 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 great game. Everybody really enjoyed. The fans remember all the time this, this, this game. So it was quite, quite good. And a lot of pressure, as usual, you know, when you take the right. penalty. It doesn't matter if it's Sunderland or any team, you know, because sometimes look look easy, but, you know, you need to make sure to put in the net. But I was quite quite lucky. I'm so proud to people still remember that when I scored against Sunderland.